Hi, I'm Mr. Ruben. Today, let's talk about Hurricane Weinstein, sexual abuse and the gender debate. In case you've not been following the program, be sure to subscribe on our YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. So let's get into the topic. Over the last few months, the US has been bombarded by lots of hurricanes from Harvey to Ima to Ophelia and we don't know which other guests are on this unwanted list of visitors. In the last couple of weeks, however, another sort of hurricane has been making waves through the US and Europe. So first there was Hurricane Weinstein and then there was Hurricane Garnier that generated into Hurricane Bush and of course there was Hurricane Spacey in the UK. And for once we are thankful for storms because for the first time we are actually seeing in its true colors the extent and the gravity of sexual abuse both in the entertainment industry and in general. In the aftermath of the storms, Mark Garnier, who is a UK member of parliament resigned. Harvey Weinstein who is an ace movie producer was expelled by the academy and Netflix and House of Cards absolutely want nothing to do with Kevin Spacey any longer. The concept that women or the concept of women as victims and men as perpetrators of sexual abuse has just been compounded by all of these incidences. But then that also begs the question, who is more at risk when it comes to sexual abuse? I like to think that our boys and our girls, our children are frankly at risk. In July, Mike Tyson, the world boxing champion, came out to say that he had been abused as a child. But he also mentioned that he did not disclose this to anybody because it made him tougher for the world that he lived in. And this is where the problem is. So men who, or boys who grow into men who have been sexually abused when they were children, never come out to say that this incident has actually happened. One, they think that it's emasculating. Two, sometimes scientists actually say that men who have been sexually abused or raped do not actually consider it as being sexual abuse or rape sometimes because they derive some pleasure from the incident. But quite frankly, according to Mr. Ruben, our boys, our girls are at risk. If you go through the statistics, you realize that children under the age of 18 have a higher chance of being sexually abused, usually by family members or people who are close to them. And the high time that we realize this and start putting measures in place to ensure that these incidences do not happen, the better off everyone is going to be. Hot people for other people as well. Till I see you again. Bye for now.